Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today we are looking at the very popular Vita mask. I haven't even opened it yet. So let's do it and then we'll talk about the actual mask itself. Uh oh, you guys can see my address. Ruh -roh. Mm. <laughs> oh, cool. What? Oh, wow. Oh, these are KF-94s. Wait, what? Is this what you bought? No. What the heck? This is super interesting. All right, so this is their KF-94 mask. And what's crazy is that I was about to say it's not a legitimate KF-94 because KF-94s have to be uh, made in Korea. But look at this, look at what shows up. This is crazy because you've got Vita on the outside and then that's where the branding stops. This is, oh, this is interesting. I mean, I'd rather, but this is actually a BK healthcare uh, mask. FDA registered. So what that means is the mask is not registered because masks are not registered. Uh, it's the facility that is registered for the FDA. And this seems legit. This seems like a legitimate KF94, which is kind of my favorite format. So hard for me to get mad at this. Very weird that they pretend to be like, look, there's no mention on their website. They're going to be sending you someone else's masks. And then, you know, this mask shows up. I mean, who are these guys? Amazon? Interesting design too, I've never seen this. Look at that, BK Healthcare, made Korea. Wow, I like this, construction's good. Let's get it in the clamper, wow. That, I love an adventure. Adventures in masking. Did we get a good clamp there? That's a great clamp. And we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing the, well, my hair's all messed up. We're doing the N95 test here because we're in the United States. And I don't exactly know what the KF94 standard is, but if you do, send me a link. I've been trying to find it. I'd love to read it. But I do know the thing about the KF94 standard is that it is, uh, the 94 stands for 94%. Okay, except for, I don't think this is a KF94 either. I, I don't know. I don't know the standard, but nothing on the actual uh, mask says KF94. I don't know that this is an actual KF-94. Interesting, let me look at the listing. This is crazy, I'm not usually speechless. So featuring filtration efficiency of 94%, this comfortable breathable four layer mask is FDA registered. That is a lie. There's no such thing as an FDA registered mask. You can register a factory, meaning that the FDA audits your factory for stuff, but you cannot register a mask. It says it's CE certified. I know that's a lie because for CE, you actually have to put the CE mark on the mask and it's not, it's not on here, on here. I know, I know, I'm a dork. I think I'm not so much of a dork that I got beat up in high school, but yeah, there's no CE mark on here. So it's not CE. CE is a European standard. So I love KF94s and I think it's probably gonna be a great mask. Ah, oh, see, look at that. Great mask. Manufacturer of this is really, really good. So small. This mask seems like super unbreathable. Actually, I can just tell by when I'm trying to breathe through it, I can feel the air. See, it's like trying to pull through here and here. And I just learned that the breathe, I didn't, wasn't looking, but the airflow resistance was 330 Pascals. Now I don't know the KF94 standard, uh, because it's in Korean, and I haven't been able to find it. Um, but uh, the KN95, the N95 standard, all the respirators out there have a maximum ceiling of 250 Pascals. This one was 330? 330. 330. Oh, that's symmetric. 333 Pascals. Super unbreathable. If you, uh, we have a database of KF94s we've tested for kids. You should check that out. On Amazon, you can buy a KF94 that has like incredible breathability. For a kid, I want it to be under 100 Pascals if possible, but the minimum, the ceiling for me personally is 150 Pascals when I'm gonna wear this thing for eight hours. So this is already a no for me. Um, that said, filtration's great. 99.941, 99.941. So this is it. I mean, at, at, 
very typical of KF94s that they are good products. The problem is here, like you could put, I always say you could put a, you know, a, a brick in front of your face and we have a hundred percent filtration in this machine, <laughs> but there'd be no breathability. So if you tried to strap a brick to your face, what would happen? Well, air would find a way out, but so would COVID find a way in. And so if that's what you're looking to protect your kid from, you want it to be as breathable as possible, especially for a child. If they're going to keep it on. Otherwise they're going to be pulling on it and everything. All right, guys, uh, that was an adventure. So we, we ordered KF 94s from Vita KF 94s from BK healthcare showed up. Um, they're doing this really hard claim that they're FDA registered, but that's just the factory and they're not registered to make this product. They're registered to make another product. So I feel like it's a little disingenuous. Um, that they're using that in marketing and it's super not breathable. So there are way better masks personally that I would uh, choose to use for my kids. Um, but your mileage may vary. Maybe you, you know, maybe that's a strategy you have. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. And uh, you know what? Stick with us. We got more tests happening, more tests from Vita that we're going to be testing. So uh, I will catch you on that next test.